Hello from Layers from Thailand. This is my second video on my hydroponics project. As you can see, my tomato plants are out of the bucket now and they're growing steadily. Um, I did the video, I think about the 1st or the 3rd of July. So it's been about 20 days, nearly three weeks since I did my last video when I put all the tomato plants in the buckets. As you can see, they've grown pretty well and behind me I've got tomato plants on one side and I've got pepper plants on the other side, bell peppers on the other side and all the bits and pieces that you see in the middle are my overstock which I had. Um, I planted too many seeds so rather than just letting them go to waste I put them in some pot and compost and if I get one tomato or one pepper off then it's a bonus but I'm just going to now do an experiment on the hydroponic system versus the, um, the the soil or the potting compost that you can get. I'm going to see how much I get off each one. I'm going to count how many kilos of tomatoes off the hydroponics tomato plant versus the tomato yield on the bag of potting compost. I'll put some fertilizer obviously through the potting compost one otherwise then it's a un unfair unfair test. And the system's running pretty well. The water recirculates, it goes through the substrate. As you can see, all my pots are blacked out. This is to stop the algae forming on the, <coughs> the surface of the, the pots. Uh, because some of the buckets that I had are, are see-through plastic, so therefore algae can form on the inside. As you can see, the strings uh, are there, ready for my tomato plants to grow up the strings um, and they're all tied off at the top so eventually when they reach to the top I can bend them over slightly and get them to grow even higher and um, again my bell peppers are, are the same and they're just starting to come out of the buckets now as you can see and um, so fingers crossed they should be okay <coughs> I'd like to show you my version of the Dutch bucket system so you'll see some pictures that I'm going to put up with the components that you need. First of all you need the bucket and then all the components that go with it. Um, a screw thread adapter which goes through the bucket and um, some PTFE tape to, to seal the joints, U-bend, straight piece of plastic, um, pipe cutter and most important the speaker to listen to the music whilst you're having fun making your Dutch bucket system. The tape that I've used for using as a filter at the bottom of the uh, bucket, it all it is it's um, tape, joint tape for when you're doing sealing boards. Just wrap that around the bottom because the substrate that you put in the bottom, which I, or the substrate that I've used is coir and um, pumice stone. Well pumice stone is very light and it floats and what could happen is that when you put water into the bucket the pumice stone will float up inside of the plastic pipe therefore stopping the water or reducing the water from coming out the pipe and going into the recirculating system. It's a simple filter that I put on there and it stops any big bits coming through and going into your water tank. So therefore you just drill the hole just slightly big so you can screw the screw thread into the bucket. This actually makes a, a, a better fit in. And the buckets that you're going to get, you need to have a bucket that's a little bit flexible. The ideal buckets are like the paint buckets that you get from Ty Watts are doing things like that because they're more supple and when you drill into them they're less uh, they are less um, resistant to cracking. So the buckets that I've got, I got from it, like all the cheap Charlie uh, outlets that you can get them from, and they were 120 baht per bucket. Uh, by the time you put your substrate, which is the pumice stone and the coir and the black plastic bag that goes up, it roughly brings it out to 200 baht per bucket which is yet yeah, quite expensive but if you manage to get hold of the second hand paint buckets and I managed to get a few of them but they're difficult to find or the iron rayon you can get them buckets for 60 baht 
So then that reduces the whole bucket cost down to about 140 baht. Quite a saving when you're gonna, if you're gonna do like 50 or 100 buckets. Um, I've got in total 20 tomato plants now and 20 uh, pepper plants. So we'll see what we get from from them when the the fruit. As you can see in the background, we're three weeks on now, so everything's growing great in the greenhouse, and it's been a pleasure to do it. And I wish anybody any luck in Thailand that's going to carry on and do it. If you've got any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. If you like it, give a thumbs up. If you don't like it, leave your comments and say why. Um, any advice I'll gladly take and if anybody wants to know how I've started everything and done everything then please feel free to ask. So thanks very much for tuning in, watch my other videos and subscribe. So thank you very much from Les, retired and living the dream, until the next time, bye for now.